Hi guys, so a couple of weeks back I done the backlink audit tool which was the 14th in a series of the same rush toolbox webinar. So the backlink audit tool is a great tool um, within the same rush. Where do you find the tool first and foremost? You would go to the SEO toolkit <coughs> and if you go to link building you will see the second one down is the backlink audit tool and it will then pull up the projects that you've got set up so this project that i've got is my own website which is craigcampbellseo.co.uk and i've already done the kind of scan of the website so just in terms of speed and stuff like that and for demonstration reasons i'm going to show you the backlink audit tool as uh, you know with the data that's already there now the first thing i want to talk about is up in the top right hand corner here is integrations now in order to get the best value for money you can integrate your google search console google analytics and you can also integrate majestic seo to make sure that you're analyzing as many backlinks as you possibly can um, to make sure that your backlinks are where they should be so <coughs> the reasons that you would use the backlink audit tool would be potentially to check out what's going on with your website make sure that the links you're getting are the right kind of links there's not anything toxic there or anything that's going to damage your business now if you're going to run a backlink audit you can run the audit you can export the information as a pdf here um, so you simply click PDF and it will export everything there into a nice fancy PDF if you want to report to someone. So this is the overview. I'll just talk you through what everything means. So the overall toxic score, according to SEMrush, is medium for my website. So I've got 995 referring domain names. They've analysed 32,000 backlinks. <coughs> um, some are new, some are broken, some are lost. These are all potential, you know, for the lost ones, I could reach out again and, and potentially get link, get those links back. The broken ones, I could also get back. The new ones, I can obviously keep on top of. Um, so that is what that means. Basically, um, it gives you the anchor text, the top anchors over here on the right-hand side, the top subpaths by toxic domain names, and it's also got follow versus no follow, the, the kind of percentage there as well. So these are, <coughs> if you're building links, you'll obviously want to look at the anchors and everything else that's going on there. Um, so it's a, just a simple dashboard that shows you what what's going on with your website. The thing that's going to flag up to anyone would be domains by toxic score. So according to this, I've got one toxic domain name. Uh, one toxic backlink you're on so i want to see what the hell that is so it's going to come up here showing me that this particular website links to my seo consultancy page the anchor text is seo consultancy and the toxic score is 62 anything below so 45 to 59 is potentially toxic 60 to 100 is toxic and anything below is seen as a good link. Now, this particular link, I'm not sure where it came from, who put it there, or whatever it may be. It may have been someone talking about me on some post, or, or whatever it may be. The fact that they've used the anchor text as SEO consultancy is most likely the reason that SEMrush are flagging that up as, as potentially toxic. I know that's a good link, because I've already checked it out, and I'm not going to disavow it, but I could potentially... Um, delete so if I click on the blue button I can remove it or to the disavow file and then I can submit my disavow if I would like to do that but I'm quite happy with that one so-called toxic link and I'm not going to worry too much about it I have 101 potentially toxic links as well what may these be there's probably a whole heap of garbage in here top with varying different toxic scores um websites that i've never heard of and you know there's obviously some chinese stuff going on here as well so potentially 
There's no anchor text. It's got a toxic score of 55. I could keep it and it's going to remove it to the whitelist or I could click delete and remove it to the disavow and that will add that to my disavow file which I'll come to later on. So you can work your way through this list and basically scan your links and check out what you want to check out. Now there's loads of different filters here so you can group by domain, URL, you can, there's some advanced filters here that you can have a look at. Um, Toxic markers, so it could be mirror pages, page comment spam, malicious page, all these kind of stuff. Um, you can also filter it by follow and no follow. You can also filter it by toxic, potentially toxic or non-toxic as well. So you can have a look through all of your links there and manage your toxic links to the best of your ability. So that's what the audit tab is all about. Now remove... So anything I want to remove, um, I can add to a remove file. Now, basically adding them to a remove file, I can set up a campaign within SEMrush where I could reach out to that particular website owner and ask them to remove my link. They may or may not answer me. Uh, in my opinion, I would just simply disavow it. Um, but you can send up to 500 emails a day to people through SEMrush by adding stuff to your remove file here and you can set up a campaign where um, please remove links from our website. You know, this is all pre-set up in SEMrush for you and you can basically try and scrape up the domain name. You can also send them a follow-up message asking, you know, these are, there's templates here but you can actually, you know, edit them and make them suit yourself. Um, so you can basically go in here and it's got the basic standard thing there of basically asking for the link to be removed and you click send and it will send it through SEMrush for you and it will mark it as your email was sent, whether it was delivered, whether it was read and if you got a reply. So it's quite a good thing to to use as part of your workflow. So that's what the remove tab does and you can add a mailbox here to um, work with SEMrush and do that and reach out and try and get links removed. Bit of a long-winded way of going about removing links. Um, it may work for some, it may work for, it not work for others. I know people that have reached out and never heard anything back. So it's entirely up to yourself what strategy you want to use going forward. The next tab is disavow. So everything that I've added to the disavow file um, will appear here. Now I can, <coughs> And everything I'm going through in the audit audit tab, I can add to the disavow file. This is the disavow file. Now I can use search for URL. I can use some filters here um, and stuff like that. Now you'll see that there's already stuff I've disavowed previously. The top couple of ones there I've not disavowed because I've not updated my disavow file for a few weeks. But this is the disavow file. You simply click export to TXT and then you would go into your um, search console and upload that disavow file and you're basically saying to Google, these links don't count, they're not me, please you know, don't count them against me. The next tab along is lost and found. What you take from this is entirely up to yourself, but it will give you lost um, and found, uh, new and lost domain names that are pointing to your website. And that's something you can use to then reach out to people who have stopped linking to you. Um, you know, you're not <coughs> really going to do much with people who are linking to you, there's not a problem there. But it just basically gives you lost and found and you can go through here and you can see when the link was first seen. You can see the toxic score, you can mark it as whitelist, you can add, add it to the, the disavow if you want to be super active on that type of thing. So that's what lost and found is. And about, um, it will basically tell you, you know, what the tool's about and everything else that you need to do. Doing disavows on a regular basis is probably quite important. I know a lot of people say they don't do it and there's mixed messages going about. Um, negative SEO is a very real thing and keeping on top of any kind of trash that's pointing to your website is just good general housekeeping. And I think using this tool to audit your links and then creating a disavow file will stand you in good stead going forward. 
So I would always recommend that you do look at the backlink audit tool on SEMrush. A lot of people don't use it. Um, I don't know why, because it's fairly accurate. <coughs> um, you know, obviously it will still flag up some links that are same rush are saying are toxic that are not actually toxic. Um, but I think it's good for you to then go in and manually decide what's toxic and what's not and make sure that you're comfortable with the links that are pointing to your website. So that is how to use the backlink audit tool and basically all of the features that are on there. You can go up to the top right hand side and there's a user manual and a product tour. You can also send over some feedback if there's something missing from the tool. And um, yeah, as I say, use this to report to clients um, or whatever you may want to do as well. So it is a great tool, One, you know, whether you're using it to report to clients or whether you want to manage your workflow and keep on top of the, all those kind of toxic links that are going about. So any other questions, you can send them to SEMrush and I will speak to you next time.